federal programs to help get your student loans forgiven. They sound great, but in reality, they're really hard to get accepted into. Tonight, Leah Lynchide shares how one Madison educator's call for action is help getting her loans forgiven. This is the application. Christy Donovan retired from the Madison School District months ago. You wouldn't guess it, though, by all the homework she's still doing. It's out of an eight-page document where the rest of the pages are all the explanations of how you can qualify and how to, how to apply. She's trying to get her student loans forgiven, up to $17,500 spent on getting her master's in education, a grad degree that helped her get her license from the Department of Public Instruction, as required by MMSD to work at the district. On how to, how to complete the application. There's page three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. But the school district is holding up her federal application for forgiveness. Oh, I'm pretty frustrated. It's, um, it's kind of silly. I, th I think I should have the opportunity that all the other teachers have. At the heart of the problem here is the subject of semantics. And that's what they're saying that I don't have a license specific to teaching or instruction. Christy is a physical therapist, a position helping students with disabilities. Does that still make her an educator and eligible for the teacher loan forgiveness program? She says yes. We teach functional skills. So um, we don't teach academics, um, but there are a lot of teachers that don't that are hired that don't teach academics. That's an interesting case. And interesting, but not exactly unique. Kimber Wilkerson works for the UW School of Education, and she says this federal loan forgiveness program has a bad report card for its often unhelpful process. They are hard for individuals to navigate, that there are sort of layers of rules and um, criteria that um, are sometimes not on the surface immediately uh, clear to the people who are trying to uh, take advantage of those programs. Similar federal forgiveness programs have a success rate of 1%, meaning 99% of people like Christy can't get their debt erased. But it's not the federal program Christy's fighting with right now. It's the school district, her employer of 20 years, who won't confirm on her application that she worked as a teacher. I've received different answers from MMSD. She's been back and forth with the district for years now on a decision she says the federal program should make, not Madison. It could be solved in with a phone call. A three-way conversation between Christie, the district, and federal loan officials. That's what she's been asking for. And after we got involved, finally, some movement. The district agreeing to that call just this week. Not asking for money. Right. Just to verify that I worked there so I can apply for the loan forgiveness. And then, you know, if they turn me down, they turn me down. In Madison, I'm Leah Lynchide for News 3 Now. And this call for action isn't quite over. We're continuing to follow up with Christy and the district to see how her request is coming out. As for the federal loan program and others like it, there is some movement for reform. And here in Wisconsin, a new program will help pay off your student loans if you commit to a career in teaching. We're going to have a much more in-depth look at that solution coming up this week on News 3 Now This Morning.